Today I'm going to share with you the five must-have vlogging accessories that you need right now. These five items will help you capture amazing video, enhance your audio and help you engage your audience like never before. So let's dive straight into it. The first thing on the list is this, it's the Jerby Griptite Telepod. And the reason I've chosen this is because this tripod extends from 34 centimeters all the way up to 79 centimeters. It can be used as a tripod with your phone. You can either use it in um, landscape mode or portrait mode. It has a cold shoe on the top, so you can put a microphone onto it. It comes with a Bluetooth remote, which I've lost, um, but the Bluetooth remote goes into these little holes here. Uh, make sure to not lose your Bluetooth remote, but having a Bluetooth remote is great because it means you can set the tripod down and then you can go away and then you can connect it to your iPhone and you can take a picture or start recording a video, which is really useful if you're traveling by yourself. The other great thing about this tripod is this bit, this part comes off like so. So you can take this part off. I have my GoPro mount uh, attached to this kind of at all times. I've actually got a quarter inch screw on the bottom of my GoPro, so I don't need this. But if you wanted to attach a GoPro, you've got the GoPro kind of set up there. Um, so you can just unscrew this part and you can attach your GoPro to it. The part can come off and you can take that off when you don't need to use it. And then you have the main body of the tripod here. All you need to do to unlock it is twist the bottom to the right and then it pushes up. Then you can twist this and then twist this and it gives you quite a uh, quite a height to it and then locks into place so it's quite compact um, and it has two different kind of settings which i'll show you as well you can have it like this as a tripod with its legs kind of up in the air or if you need a bit more support you can have it set like this like I said, I have a quarter inch screw on the bottom of my GoPro, so I can just easily attach my GoPro to it. And there we go. The next thing I want to talk about is this. This is a Chrome Lives grip handle. It's 10 pounds on Amazon, but it's really useful if you don't want to be carrying your tripod about. It has a quarter inch screw on the top and it has a option to put a quarter inch screw into the bottom of it. Fairly simply. It just attaches like this. You can go around and you can hold your GoPro with it. If you're doing some sort of water sports or <laughs> water sports. if you're doing some adventuring, you want to just have take this and say take your GoPro. I really recommend this because it's it's not very big. It's a very big setup, so it's easy to carry around. Uh, as you can see, it's got a nice rubber rubber grip to it, so it feels nice when you when you hold it and you feel like you've got a, a solid grip of it. The third thing I want to talk about is storage. If you're doing lots and lots of vlogging, you're going to need somewhere to put all of that information. So this is a two terabyte hard drive. That's 2,000 gigabytes of storage, which should be plenty enough if you're on a bit of a travel adventure. This one is 59.99. It's not too big, fits in the palm of my hand. It'll easily fit in your bag uh, when you're out and about. Good tip is, say at the end of the day when you're finished filming your videos, if you take your SD card, plug it into your laptop, plug this in, and then you can transfer the files from your SD card to your laptop, and then you can format your SD card so it doesn't get corrupted. Item number four is this. This is the Rode Video Mic Go 2. This is a great shotgun microphone. I prefer this microphone to the Rode Video Micro because it can connect to your phone. It has a USB-C cable. So if you have the new iPhone, you can connect it via USB-C to USB-C um, or you can connect it via USB-C to a uh, lightning cable. Also has a 3.5 millimeter jack on the other side the microphone is really versatile you can use it with your phone you can use it with your camera you can use it with your gopro if you have the media mod it's a shotgun microphone so it's going to pick up sound from here it's going to pick up sound from the direction you are pointing it in if you've got it pointed away from you it's going to pick up sound from here from wherever the sound is coming from the only problem with this is it doesn't come with a wind muff you need to buy that separately it comes with a firm detachable wind muff and you can also buy the furry wind muff I recommend if you're going to be doing a lot of vlogging outdoors then you do buy the furry wind muff as well I highly recommend that it's not too expensive it's about 20 20 30 pounds to buy it but it's really useful the reason I like the Rode video mic go to 
is it has quite a good shock mount. This slides backwards and forwards on here, but you can lock it into place. So you can move it so it's out of your, your shot. And then there's also a cold shoe on the bottom, so you can put it onto the top of your Jerby uh, grip type telepod. Number five is this, the Rode Wireless Me. And the reason I've chosen this microphone is because of the, the price point. It's around £100 at the minute, so it's very good. It's a very good price. It's a lot cheaper than buying the Rode Wireless Pro, which is around £300-odd. The benefit of this microphone is you can connect it to your iPhone, you can connect it to your camera, and you can also connect it to your GoPro. One of the benefits of this microphone is it has automatic gain assist. So when you're speaking, it will automatically adjust the gain. That doesn't mean that you can put the microphone miles and miles away from you, but if you're holding it around this distance here, then you should be able to pick up your audio. It comes with these cool little wind muffs, and it also has two microphones. A microphone in the receiver, and it has a microphone in the transmitter. So if you want to capture the audio of two people, you're into that road, one of the road apps, and you can turn on the microphone in the receiver, so you have two different audio sources. The benefit of using a wireless microphone is you can move further away from your camera. With the shotgun microphone, you have to be near it, but with the wireless microphone, you can walk and talk, and you can kind of walk into a shot and be further away from it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, this one's the next one that YouTube recommends for you.